Yeah, I saw your movie this morning. Yeah, I thoroughly cool. enjoyed it. Oh, thank you. Fantastic. Uh, when you read the script for the first time, what yeah. was because there's so much going on in this. Well, movie. I read the book first. You read the book first. Yes. that was your first entry. Yeah, what yeah, was yeah. it about that book that kind of spoke to you? Well, it was the story of Dominica. I think you know the book was more, a little bit more of a two-hander between Dominica and Nate, but I fell in love with her story, her character. I just thought she was really unique and a very unlikely hero. I love reluctant heroes. I love lonely heroes and kind of lonely journeys, but. I wanted to focus on that. And I also thought it was a really unique way into a spy film. I think often spy films are political or sort of tech and action based. And, you know, this was just a very different kind of visceral and more human way into the story. Absolutely. Dominique is such a fascinating character. Yeah. There's so many different layers yes. to her. Uh, what made Jennifer kind of perfect for this? Well, movie? I think she's a fantastic actress. I knew, she, I knew she could do that. I thought she could look Russian, which is kind of a weird thing. Um, I love working with her, so I knew she could do it if she wanted to do it. And, uh, you know, it was really fun because we'd done three movies with her playing the same character. It was great to kind of go in and do something together from the ground up and, like, do something completely different and, like, push her into really new territory. Absolutely. Visually, it's got such a distinct look about it. For yeah, you as a yeah. filmmaker, what was the most important thing, the most important element to bring to the screen? Well, there's a few things. I mean, we did a lot of research, so a lot of the colors came from the research that we found, the kind of color palette, and we ended up basing a lot of the color on sort of post-war Russian art. Um, it was all location-based, so a lot of the locations we were shooting on are these, like, unbelievably sort of beautiful, beautiful like, ornate spots and brutalist spots and socialist spots, and, like, the architecture was great. And then in terms of camera work, I wanted very naturalistic lighting, but I was going to keep everything uh, much wider than I had been doing in the, in the Hunger Games and also cut less and slow things down a little bit and also frame things much more formally. I wanted a lot more sym symmetry and a lot more of a graphic quality to it. So it was a, like a complete switch from what we were doing in The Hunger Games. I mean, it's a fascinating character. Is this someone that you'd like to revisit? If yeah, the hundred percent. Yeah, I mean, if people come to see the movie and you know feels like it's worth it, we would all love to go do it again. We had a great time making it. So, but it's not it's not out there and dated already. It's you know it's so. Uh, <laughs> We're just waiting to see if people like it. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. It's a great film. Thanks so much for your Thank time. You. Thank, Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, Is that yeah. from the Goonies? It is indeed. Yeah. Nice. Hey!